Okay, <clears throat> our goal is to solve this equation. And so as we look at cosecant, secant, right now, we don't know what to do with them. We've somehow got to get to figure out what beta is in there. And what we really want is matching trig functions because then we can simply set the angles equal to each other. So we're going to use our co-function uh, to help us. So the co-function of cosecant is secant, which also means the co-function of secant is cosine. So you can, I mean cosecant, so you can go either way. But I'm going to change secant, I think I'm going to change cosecant to secant. So then this becomes secant, oh it helps if I can draw, secant of 90 minus beta plus 40 equals the secant of beta minus 20. And it doesn't matter which way you go. If you go the other way, you will get the same answer. It is important, though, right here, I'm going to highlight this here, this sign, it needs to be distributed. That's probably the one place you're not paying attention, you're concentrating on the other stuff, you're going to make that mistake. So this is going to become 90 minus beta minus 40 equals secant beta minus 20. Okay, then I'm going to just do a little bit of cleanup here. And at this point, I'm not even going to do any cleanup yet. I changed my mind. What I know here is that these are equal. The reason I know they're equal is these are the same. So now I can just turn this into, let's see here, 90 minus 40 is 50. 50 minus beta equals beta minus 20. And then I'm like, okay. Well, now I need to put them together somehow. So over here, I'm going to move this minus 50 from both sides. And I get negative beta equals beta minus 70. And then I have to minus beta from both sides. So negative 2 beta equals negative 70. Divide by negative 2, beta equals 35 degrees. And of course, a good way to check this and a good way to kind of, you, you know, practice some calculator skills, simply plug 35 in for beta, crunch the numbers. The decimals better match. Your, what you get for cosecant up here better equal secant.